Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you my Ultima Sword build. This ability takes our rather useless Hellblade job and makes it one of the best endgame builds. This ability is unlocked at level 13, which requires you to beat this portal behind me. After acquiring this ability, I did some testing and it turns out the damage formula is MP cost times 30. Unfortunately, there's no way to increase the MP cap of 999, meaning the maximum damage we could do for now is 29,970 damage. But Nas, you were hitting the damage cap at the start of the video. You're right, I was, and that was only made possible by defeating this portal in Holograd. Doing so will unlock Red Mage to level 15. HP and MP Converter converts MP costing abilities to HP. This means our small pool of 999 can now be 9999. With this, we're now able to hit damage cap, but we're not done there. We're gonna need to beat this portal in Halcyonia to unlock Brave Bear level 13 for across the board passive. This turns our single target abilities into AoE by pressing the Y button. Now that we have all the damage passives, let's enhance the build by attacking twice. We only need 3,333 HP to hit the damage cap. So what's the quickest way to do that? If you have the money to spare, you could use elixirs or the salve maker job to combine potions and herbs to make elixirs. I personally went with the healing item and passive from salve maker level 12 and an X potion. This heals us for 3,750 HP, which is more than enough and is cost efficient for anyone low on cash. Now you're wondering how do we fit 4 passives when they cost 6 and we have a limit of 5 passive slots. The solution is by having a weapon with these passives. The weapons from the portals will come with all of the jobs passives, saving us space. I highly recommend Brave Bearer weapon as it comes with more passives, but I understand this portal can be a pain until you're up and running, so the Red Mage is the second best option as it frees up 2 passive slots. One for healing item amp and a flex slot. If you seem to be missing, try using the bloody mind passive from Berserker at level 5. This will guarantee you hit and you won't lose HP since you'll be at 1 HP. I personally found this build to work best with the spearhead passive from Beastmaster at level 8 so we always go first and net a quick kill. You can get the Beastmaster weapon from this portal. Now that we're prepared, let's get into battle. You'll want to brave 4 times and use Ultima Sword and press the Y button to attack all enemies. Go to items and use an X potion on the character you're controlling. Do another Ultima Sword and press Y and then go back to items and use the X potion on you again. Before I forget, I just want to mention since Ultima Sword has its unique damage multiplier based on our HP, our stats don't matter. This is the most friendly build anyone can use right away if you are underleveled or you don't want to farm buns. All you need to do is have 3334 HP or more. For anyone wondering how we can improve this build, you really can't but I did replace Bloody Mine with Noble Sacrifice to take on the secret boss. Which I guess makes that the best build, right? If you found value from this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing to see more. Until the next video, I'll see ya.